Hey everyone, welcome back to the NASCAR Third Thoughts 2 career. Or two, pff, four career for a 736 season 2 of the career. We're going to Texas. Last one was Bristol. Gotta look at with the caution, which is nice. The glitch caution. And we got a top 10. I'll gladly take it because now we got the mind that we need. And as far as the rivals are concerned, the 76, we got four. So we got the 2, 9, 99, and the 4. The 4 mainly, but. These three, if we can buy them cleanly once, we'll be all right. But then again, we just got to worry about where they are on the track. So anyway, as far as team management is concerned, a one more race for the engine down to come in. So when that comes in, we'll work on the body. And as far as the garage is concerned, uh, two more races for that to be overhauled. And once it's overhauled, we'll get this one overhauled. And then we got two of the work. We'll probably use that one for Martinsville. And then, yeah, but anyway, this, um, overhauling this for two more races. And bodies, building one for seven more races, and I'm overhauling one for two races. Flip flop that. So I got one. To, I got one to use, but I got to really take good care of it. So anyway, as you see on the screen, we're going with the Bass Pro. Uh, last last time we were here, we got our first win. That was with the Wrangler car. We'll see if I get a win with this one. So we'll see if we go back to back. But anyway, uh, we're going with the. I think Talladega's next. So well, let me check the schedule. Hold on. I think Talladega's next, so... Whoops. Golly. I think Talladega's next, so... Yep, Talladega's next. So we're saving the best one for Talladega. So race weekend. I got I gotta look back and see... Uh, we'll use this one because we don't we'll need to worry about tires. We gotta use this one because that's the best one we got. I don't want to use the shittiest one. This is the only one we got. Car in a 62, so not terrible. I think we won here with like a 53, if I remember, or 54, whatever. But anyway, let's jump into it and see what happens. Oh, the final corner. Messed the entrance. Messed the entrance to the three up a little bit. We'll just see what it's going to be. It should be close. And hell yeah, another pole. All right. We'll see. We'll see how much we got by. And we got by two tenths. Okay. Well, it's gonna be another tight race. So. All right. Now I gotta figure. Out. Twenty seventeenth. Wow. Burn twenty first. Um. Uh, gotta figure out where the other start. They probably scroll past, but um, they probably start. They're probably starting near the front. Montgomery last. So that's great for me. Anyway, I'll figure out where they start here. But let's jump into the race. Oh, oh sad. I got show you. Uh, it's the same one that we used last season. Last season we we're here. We started in the back and won, but this time we're starting up. We're starting on the pole. We'll see if we can capitalize and get our first win of season two and end our goddamn slump. So anyway, let's jump into Texas. Welcome to Texas Motor Speedway in Fort Worth, Texas, and today's NASCAR Winston Cup race, the Samsung Radio Shack 500. What kind of a track is Texas? Texas is a tough track for these drivers to get a hang of. It's very fast, but has a very tight groove. Some of these cars may add some paint to the walls here before the race is over. The 124 car has been getting into it heavily on the track with the 4 car. Honestly, I think his driving's gotten a little out of control. It's one thing to be out there driving aggressively and fighting for position, but he's gone over the line as of late. After yeah, finishing I... second twice to Dale Earnhardt Jr. for the Bush Series Championship, Kenseth beat him out for the Rookie of the Year in 2000. And he did it without qualifying well. Despite only two top 10 starting spots, he posted a 14th place points finish with a win and 11 top 10 finishes. 
Sterling Marlin, who's currently in the top 10 in points, will try to reach the next step, the top 5. All of those guys are very happy with their top 10 season so far. Hopefully they can mount a charge that will pick them up some more points on the leaders. <laughs> All right, here we go here in Texas. All right, me and Jimmy Johnson on the front row. Here we go here in Texas. Looks like Rusty is the closest near me. long as they get a better start than I do. Elliot is the closest near me, but again, last season we were here, we got our very first win, so hopefully we can match it in season two and get our first win. Oh, tight! Is Elliot, okay. Now, now I want to lead. All right, we're going to lead the first lap and get our five bonus points. All right. Blood sweat mode. Well, holy shit, ladies and gentlemen, look how big our lead is. Where was this all season? <laughs> I did not think we would have this big of a lead, but anyway, we're going to head down here this time. Going for all four tires. They better build a big enough lead in case the crew fucks up on pit road, which I hope they don't. I build a big enough lead in case they fuck up. So anyway, we're going to head down pit road here. We're going to take our time. Don't fuck it up. Don't fuck it up. 70 miles an hour. All right. Four tires of fuel. Get out of the way. I also for a solid stop. that happens. Thankfully, I built a big enough lead in case that happens. So anyway, we're going to see what we cycle out. We should cycle back out to the lead. We got some cars headed down pit road. Right, as you heard, the leader's pitch. So I'm going to cycle out to the lead by almost a whole back straightaway. And we're going to be catching lap cars momentarily, so we're going to get the lead back. We're probably going to lead the most laps, and... Five more points. You the most. Well, just, I just led the lap, so we led the most laps, and now let's bring it home. Oh, I caught some lappers. It's not going to be easy to pass them, because they're so slow. And they want to be blocking pants as well. Why, I do not know. This shouldn't be while I'm leading this race, while I'm out here dominating, but the car... Alright, we... Alright, we're gonna clear him. Alright, I'm worried about if the four cars on the track. I better hope he's not, but... We got ten laps to go here, and I think... And again, the guy I'm gonna be worried about is the four car. That's the guy I'm gonna worry about, but... I don't see him up there, but he's probably in that pack, so maybe we're gonna relax until we get there. And there's the four. I ain't gonna worry about passing him. I'm gonna stay back. Oh, somebody blew up. 
That is Jeff Gordon. All right, now I'm going to question how I'm going to get by the four. Hold the four. Oh. All right. Please get by him. Please don't get by me. I am not get by me. I am not dealing with any of his bullshit. I'm not dealing with it. I got a big lead. Don't, don't. I got five seconds. Fucking four car. I knew I was got. I knew I had to worry about him. I think I got a big lead. I shouldn't have to worry about him, but. Probably not gonna catch him now. We're just gonna relax right here. All right, heading down the front stretch to left. I caught the four again. Uh, I'm just gonna stay right here. I am not gonna pass him. I'll go as slow as I want to because I am not gonna get by that four car. But anyway, we dominated this race. The four almost ended my race. I am not gonna let him end it. We're gonna break and let him have fun because I ain't gonna get by him. And bought the final corner. Gonna see the white flag. Final lap of Texas. I hand down the back stretch. Going to turn three again. It's gonna stay right here. All right! Yes! Yes! First win of season two! Finally! Yes! All right. There were oh. only a few lead changes. To be honest, I'm a little surprised that we didn't have more leaders. It just goes to show that with the right setup and the right strategy, you could really dominate a NASCAR Winston Cup race. The MBNA car is the big winner in this one. Oh, yeah. He just added up for him in this one. Great car, great team, and oh, yeah, a great driver, too. The 124 car had a... We are not listening to that. We're going to victory lane for the first time in season two. Victory. It's been a long time. Montgomery is down. Thankfully, he didn't go out. Well, we gotta worry about him a little bit. But everybody, else, everybody else went down. All right, we got another million in the bank. All right, let's see. We led thirty laps. Good lord. Let's see. Burton led, and Elliot Sai led the other two. Holy shit! What a dominating stadium. thing. About the first time we had a dominating race in his entire career. Alright, um, this is Talladega, uh, hopefully we run well, we're gonna take a look at everything here real quick, I'll, oh, yeah, oh, well, the shop edition came in, so, now it's on the body, we are going to get the templates, that'll be our next upgrade, for, how much, S six races, for 600k, I'm okay with that, so, alright, so that will come in, and as far as everything is concerned, one more race for that to be overhauled. One more race for this to be overhauled. And one more race for this to be over this to be overhauled. And Yeah. So Alright, well, I guess we I think it's time for a bonus race. Alright, bonus race time. So we're gonna check the points real quick. And we catapulted up to 14th in points. I just checked. And we're 223 back, and how many guys are within a race? 11. So, all right, and uh, like I said for the upgrade, we got the, sh the templates. I will come in six races. 
As far as everything is concerned, one more race for everything to be overhauled. And for the body, six more races to be overhauled. But once Elgar comes in, we can build, we can immediately build a new one. So that can... This is kind of working into our favor, so... Anyway, we changed this game. As you guys can see, we're back to the primary. Alright, so let's jump into Dega, but... Let's go with the chassis. We're going with the least one again. We don't need grip and wear at Talladega, because... Mm, I want to stay down for Marsville, so we go with this one. I'll save that for Martinsville. Uh, we're going to go with this one. Wait, hold on. Oh. Okay. Martin, it's not that hard, okay? Not that difficult. Alright, race weekend. Chassis. We'll go with... Um... I mean... Low durability, so we'll go with this one. Again, we don't need a lot, so engine. Um, su surprisingly, this one is good, but we need a lot of efficiency, so we'll go with that one. And body, this is the only one we got. It's a car in a 61, so I'll only drop one, but it's not terrible. But anyway, let's jump into Dega. Alright, off of four down to the start finish line. First last of 5347. This lap should be way faster. And we'll see what we get here. It, it will be about a second. About a second. And. We'll the top half of the field. Not too bad. 15th, okay. I think we gotta worry about the four. I think that's the only we gotta worry about. So where is he starting? That's, the, that's very important. Because I think everybody else will be fine. 15th. Where's that? Where's the four car? He's very important. He's starting to the back, so that's good for me. And he is... 40th. Okay. No need to worry about him. So, setup. I'll show you what the setup is. It's the same one. It's the same one we use at Daytona. So, anyway, let's jump into Talladega. We'll see if we can go back to back, maybe. The NASCAR Winston Cup Series visits the famous Talladega Super Speedway today for the Aaron's 499. This is Joe Moore and Barney Hall for MRN, and we're live to bring you all the action. We should be in for quite a show today, Barney. Lots of different opinions about this restrictor plate racing. These drivers love the speed. It's what they live for. In fact, some think they should run with no plates at all, so the cars would be more spread out. Speeds would be well over 215 miles an hour. But that doesn't seem to bother most of the drivers. It's the fact that they can't break away from each other with the plates on the cars that bother them. Yep. The 124 car has been mixing it up with some other drivers on the race. <laughs> A little bumping now and then is okay. They just need to make sure it doesn't get any more serious. Rusty Wallace has put together a great season so far. Oh, yeah. And all these guys in the top five are fighting hard week in and week out to gain as many points as possible. It's harder to pick up spots once you're into the top five. Oh, yeah. Jerry Nadeau is one of those guys who you just keep expecting to break out and have a good year. Yeah, you do, but he's got a ton of talent and some good equipment. He's shown he can win and run up front. Now he's just got to string some success together and gain some confidence out there. All right, here we go with Dega. All right, Jeff Gore and Michael Walsh up on the front row. Let's get going to Talladega. It's 
Very important to get up to speed. Shift now. Am I clear to go to the top? Oh, I'm clear to you. I wasn't clear yet. Alright, Kurchi is being trusted. Here we can, um... Okay, shut the hell up, Kurchi. I'm trying to talk, but... So... We'll go for four tires. Oh, no. We'll go for rights on both stops. We gotta stop twice, but... We are gonna go for rights and lefts on both the stops. So we're gonna have to drive with the pack just to get up to the front. We can run well. Last time we were here, we went on a bullshit pitch strategy last time we were here, so... We'll see if we can pull it off again. We're gonna drive with the booth. We're gonna let him pull down just so we can drive with him. Cause I don't wanna run I don't wanna run on the outside. I wanna be able to run with him on the inside, so. Okay, we'll go to the bottom here, let him go down, we'll drive. Push him, see if we can get up near the front and try to catch Harvick and the others. We're gonna let him go to the, we're gonna let the biffle go to the bottom here. Oh, we're, oh, never mind, we're underneath him. This will be for 17th. And we're clear him. All right, we're up to 17th. And, yeah, hopefully we don't lose the pack up there too much. But then again, once we get the pair, we're just gonna take right sides. I think I gotta let one of these guys buy just so we can push them, or drive with them, maybe catch them, looks like we're catching them on speed alone, so. Who knows? But I just don't think we're gonna catch up just on raw speed. I think we gotta let somebody buy. But we'll see if we can get out there on speed. And it looks like we're pulling away from them. Uh, I think we were gonna pull away from them, but I know, I know they're gonna catch me because we just don't have the speed to catch them, but. Who knows? We're gonna relax here and maybe until we pit, we're gonna pit on lap 6 and 12. That'll be our strategy. And again, we will go for. Oh, Benson. Benson on the inside of me, but we're gonna hang on to the spot. We'll try to hang on to the spot as long as we can. Alright, we have caught Robbie Gordon just on speed and we'll see if we can push him again. I wanna go to the bottom, so. We'll, we'll, we'll get out of him. We'll make sure he runs to the bottom. Oh, never mind. He doesn't want to go. All right, we'll get the free spot. Let's wait for 16th. And again, on the, on, on the pitch stops, we are going to go for two tires on both, and he's still on the outside of me. Should get around him here on speed. Can't get around him yet. We'll get by momentarily. Uh, we ain't gonna get by him. Oh, oh. Be, be patient. We'll get by him. It's just. Oh, whoops. I don't want Jimmy to get underneath me. Am I clear? Alright. Thanks for letting me know, crew chief. For letting me know I'm clear. I want to get in this draft. I use some share draft. Go to the bottom here. Make this pass. Can I get by him? I think I clear him. Cleared! Thanks, crew chief. And looks like the pin all already, but like I said, we are gonna pit next time by, so I'll see you on the way I pit. Alright, off of four, we're heading up pit road. I am gonna go for four tires. We can go into the pits a little aggressively, so 70 miles an hour. Alright. Right sides, that's it. Alright, let's hope for a solid stop. Look at these spots we came by just taking two. We're almost over to the top. They're going to be slow, but we're going to take advantage. Alright, look, look how much time we made by just taking two. We're basically going to be in third and possibly leading. That's how much time you can make by just taking two. That's crazy. Well, Billy, it's up here. Billy, it's the pissy one, but. 
You guys can clearly see how much time we can make it by just taking two. It's insane. And we get the speed better than they do, so we might be leading here. So, so on the next stop, we're just gonna take, we're just gonna take lefts. On the next stop, it takes a long time for them to get up the speed. It looks like they're just exiting the pits. Will I, will I be the leader? I don't know, but looks like we're gonna be very well positioned. And again, they're just exiting the pits. Oh, well, there's Spencer the Pissy one, but we're gonna be on the podium at the moment, so we gain a lot of spots. It looks like we're gonna be third. Yeah, I see them. They're exiting the pits. We should be close to them. I don't know, but the others are coming from behind. But well, we're gaining on them, but then again, it takes a long time to get up the speed. So we should be able to run them down. At least I sure hope. And oh yeah, we're running them down. We're gonna have a race, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna get some drive from behind, maybe catch them, but right now we're on the podium and I'll take it. We're on the podium and We'll see if I can catch these two. It looks like I am. But now we're just gonna... <sighs> we're second bad. Now we're just gonna have to play the blocking game. Hey, here comes Rudd. Am I clear? No. Okay, oh, that's all right, because I can do, I can sure jump with these two. So I'm not, I'm still within striking distance. So thankfully, not gonna lose them. We are gonna we are gonna share a drive. I'll probably drive with Jared here. Just so we can get a little bit closer to that front pack. And it's gonna let him by. Rod, I'll drive with you. You're, you're on the bottom. I don't wanna lose time. I wanna stay I wanna stay near these guys, but I can't let everybody else by. But then again, we are gonna take two tires on the second stop. Hopefully I can keep up with these two. Looks like I will be. I don't wanna lose time. Hopefully they go to the bottom. Thank God they do. So that way I can stay in touch with them. But then again, I got Labonte in the air. on my ass trying to get by me as well while I'm trying to drive with these two. Well, Jared's pitting. Am I clear? I am. Okay. And again, we are going to take two. We're taking lefts on the next stop. But I think we're still going to be... All right, we're going to pit next time by... And like I said, we are going to go for laps on the next stop. But thankfully, at this place, we can go, we can, we can end the pitch a little bit more aggressively. So that's nice. Got to keep these guys behind me the best I can. Thanks, crew chief. Let me know I'm clear. Thankfully, run is there, but we're not going to lose a lot of time. But the top, the other two, the two dominating drivers of the game, I think we might end up losing time to them, but who knows? We can, we can get into the pits a little bit aggressively, so. We'll, we'll see if we can beat Ron Pit Row at the pits. I think we can go into the pits, like I said, a little bit aggressively, so. Don't speed. <laughs> Gotta take time, no fuel. I'm just gonna take fuel. I had to take fuel, I had no choice. I still beat them though, so our cars better get up to speed in there, so that was very costly for me, but we get the speed quicker than they do. That was very costly, but... I hope it's not too costly, but we're gonna have to wait and see. We're probably gonna be back to where we were. Alright, looks like the others are exiting the pits. So we're gonna cycle out in third. Yeah, third, because it looks like Junior years are already exiting the pits. Got a little bit of a gap to fourth on back. Got about four to go, and it looks like my left front has fallen off. So, I hope we can make it to the finish. I really hope, but they got to talk to her up the speed. It's just, I don't know about a lot of time to catch her, but a third, it's not terrible, but we're going to have to 
I guess we're gonna have to hand this and hope our left front can make it. All right, two laps to go. Looks like fourth down back has caught me. And all right, it's gonna be one hell of a run just to hand to a podium. And I'm worried about my left front tire. Hopefully it can make it, but all right, it's gonna be one hell, one hell of a bout just to hand to a podium. But I don't know if we can do it, but hopefully it's a little easy, but I don't know if it will be. But anyway, oh, I know, crew chief, I'm seeing right behind me, but anyway, off the final corner, gonna see the white flag. Final lap of Talladega! Can we hand to a podium? Down the back stretch I go, still hanging onto the podium. Leaders are hanging to three. Hmm. All right, off of four. Hanging down to the finish line. I think Junior wins the Talladega, but it looks like we're gonna have a podium! Hell yeah, we'll take it! Third place at Talladega! That's a solid third place run. We got a podium. And yet Junior won at Talladega. The yellow flag didn't fly at all in this one. Well, that's good news for all these race teams because that can mean one thing. No major wrecks. The 124 car doesn't look any different than when he started this race. No. Nope. Well, it's going to be a happy crew when they get back to the shop. They can immediately go to work on next week's car without having to worry about fixing anything from this race, and that makes for a much less stressful atmosphere. This is Joe Moore for Barney Hall saying thanks for joining us for today's NASCAR Winston Cup race. Next up is Martinsville. And I won there last time, so... I'm surprised that penalty didn't cost me. They I just took field and we were able to make it on our left front tire, but look at that. Hang on to a podium. I'll take it though. I wish NASCAR would have, you know, worn out looking at podium trophies because I thought I could have had like a lot of those by now. But anyway, let's take a look at the stats here. Tony, or Junior led the most. He led 13. Tony led a lap. That's 14, 15. Rudd led a lap. 16. That Ryan Newman led a lap. And Gordon led the other two, so. Junior led the most. I mean, what else is new? You learn a lot of lessons from me, though. I'll tell you that much. Hey, we got the EA Sports car. Hell yeah. Level 28. All right, next is Martinsville. Again, last time we were in Martinsville, I won the race. So we'll see if I can... We'll see if I can win there again. But this time with better stuff. And this in this race, we're not going to use the best stuff. Because I think after this, it's California. So California will use the best stuff. I think last year I made a mistake where I used the best stuff for this one. And I used my worst stuff for California. We learned you, you use the worst stuff for the short tracks and you use the best stuff on the bigger tracks. So, because speed matters on the big tracks. So anyway, as far as shop additions, five more races on the templates. As far as the garage is concerned. Uh, we're not going to make any changes. We'll use this one for Mars. We'll use the other two. We are going to overhaul this one. Uh, uh, the, the tire work goes up instead. All right. Yeah, we'll, never mind. We'll overhaul it. We got enough money. Oh, overhaul it for two races. All right. As far as engines are concerned, um, this one is still all right, but we're going to use this one for Mars. We'll save the other one, so no work on that. And this... Uh, no work, so... I did a good job keeping this one in good shape, but we'll use this one for Martinsville. So, no work besides the one on the chassis, so no work on the other two, which is nice. That makes our job a lot easier. And we'll check the points. We should be, we should, we should gain a couple spots. Hopefully be in the top ten, but, or at least be close, but we're going to check the points. And I think as far as rivals, we're going to get them, we're going to remake them in Martinsville. Well, let's take a look. The highest is Chase Montgomery minus four, but everyone else is down, so that's great to see. Whoops. So, as far as the plus, these are the only pluses we got. That's that's crazy. 
I'll set the points. And Junior is up by 114 over Tony, and I am 11th in points. Only 18 back from the top 10 points. So, my goal at the end of Season 2 is to be in the top 10 points. So, alright, ne that's it for this part. Next part is Martinsville, and we'll see if we can... We'll see if we can keep our Martinsville streak, because we won both races last season. We'll see if we can keep that going this time. So, anyway, I'll see you all in Martinsville. As always... Have a good day, everyone. Take care.